Soldier, do you jailbreak? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Soldier knows best here, and I get asked that question a lot. Well, actually, I haven't jailbroken my iPhone for the past couple of years and actually used it on a day-to-day -day basis, but since I just made that video showing you how to jailbreak the Verizon iPhone that's running iOS 4.2.6, link at the end of this video if you actually missed that one. But um, after I actually jailbroken my Verizon iPhone, I decided to go ahead and play around with it a little bit. I was actually surprised about some of the cool new things that are here. Now, some of these may be old to some people who are really good jailbreakers out there, but these things are kind of new to me, and I'm going to show you here. Um, the first one is called Lock Info. This, this shows you some uh, critical information like your missed calls or texts and also emails that you just received right here at your lock screen. You don't have to actually unlock your phone to see this. If I click on this one or tap on it, uh, it will take me here to this email, and I can simply read it and see if it's something that I want to reply to. And if you wanted to, hit that button right there. I'll actually unlock your phone and take it to the email. But if you just want to go back to the lock screen, hit the done button, and you're all set. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to show you here, just a little cool effect to do when you're uh, putting your iPhone to sleep. You press the sleep button. Boom, you see the nice little effect it added there. And that says, this is called Sleep FX. And uh, we can add different things here. I can do a little TV tube effect if I wanted to. Kind of a la the Nexus S. Uh, and also I can do the spin one, which I really like. And it's just something a little cool you can add it to your, when you're putting your phone to sleep there. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is probably one of the most useful ones. This is called Multi-Flow. And it's just kind of like expose multitasking for the iPhone. So you double uh, tap the home button here. Uh, you hear I have all these open windows here that I can manipulate the screens here if I want to move them around. If I want to close one of these out, like uh, let me close this one out. I can close that one out. Now I have these screens here. So I can simply go to this game here playing NBA Jam. I can simply go back here and resume it. Um, go back here and go to my Twitter client. And so this is just really how I think multitasking should be done on the iPhone. Hopefully Apple brings this type of uh, expose to the iPhone. You can simply X them out just like that. Um, and the other one I'm going to show you here is called InfiDoc. I'm almost stuttering here, but it's called InfiDoc. And it allows you to add as many um, applications to your dock as you want. Now I just have about uh, eight or seven or eight or so. But you can add as many as you want here and simply slide through the dock and uh, navigate those applications very easily. Um, another one I'm going to call is called Gravity Board. Now, if you watch my What's in My iPhone video I just did earlier this week, uh, you sure I did this little effect in the video, act like I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but uh, if you uh, click on it once here, you can simply activate it. You can choose how you activate it too. Um, anyway, here, here's the application here. It kind of just makes all your iPhone applications just go a little bit crazy and start dancing and um, acting like gravity here. You can simply throw them around if you wanted to. Uh, but you can also still activate them too. You can still go into the applications while it's in this type of little gravity type of mode there and uh, this one is really really cool and it's called camera wallpaper and uh, this one allows you to use the uh, camera on your iPhone as your live kind of like a live wallpaper that you find in Android devices uh, so see here here's just the settings here you can pause it uh, you can choose to switch between the front facing and rear facing camera uh, you can turn the flashlight on and off and I have a demo right here to the next to this is a video showing you how it actually looks when you actually activate this it'll just be like this black desk if I was to do it now I mean, I'll turn it on here so you can see kind of at the both time, but it's not really good to see that. You can kind of see my fingers there. Uh, but this one is just really, really cool. I think it's absolutely just cool to play around with that. And it's also a cool thing to show off. And, uh, and the last one here is just uh, a little effect you can act to while you're scrolling through your home screens here. And this one is called Barrel. And you can see here I have a nice little fading effect there while I flip through my open uh, pages here. And I can also go to some other different effects here as I search through these here. And um, what is my favorite one here? No, this is not my favorite one. But you can do like a little cube effect there. You see here it's like a little cube. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, and the curl and roll away is probably one of my favorite ones. This one just looks awesome. I like the way this one looks. And see, I'm going to do a little bit slow here for you. All right, so that one is called Barrel. All right, so you can see this is about six or seven different things you can do with a jailbroken iPhone. These are actually really cool UI tweaks. Um, and jailbreaking is really safe now. There's a slight risk that something could happen, but, I mean, it's very minimal. And then also, if something does go wrong or you jailbroke your iPhone and you just want to go back to normal, you can simply go into iTunes and hit Restore, and you're going to be back the way it was. Um, and also, too, I mean, this just add a couple of new things to it. And the jailbreaking community is very mature now, meaning that everything runs very smoothly. The Cydia, which is the app store for uh, this type of community, is very fast now. And uh, I find these things is just something that I think everybody should try once if you, if you have an iPhone. Again, it's very minimal risk. And then if you don't like it, just, again, just go back to normal. So anyway, leave a comment down below about what you think about jailbreaking. Are you a jailbreaker? And also, do you have any other cool different tweaks you can do with a jailbroken iPhone? Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.